meteorites land on Earth more often than you think, but the moment that they land, our weather takes over and they start to transform, eventually losing some of their meteoritic characteristics or maybe even disappearing completely. Take a look at this stone that was recovered quickly after a potentially witnessed fall. It's fresh and has a dark, frothy fusion crust baked onto the surface as it blazed through our atmosphere. That crust looks durable, but it's only a millimeter or two in thickness and can be worn off quite quickly. Here's another chondritic meteorite whose crust was worn away by wind and sand, giving it what we call a desert varnished look. Quite a contrast between these two chemically similar stones. Beyond the surface, temperature changes and impacts can create tiny cracks in meteorites, allowing moisture and oxygen to get in. At this point, minerals that have been stable for billions of years in space start rusting, crumbling, and eventually breaking apart. The stone you see here was probably on Earth for a while before the cracks and rust color you see made it to this point and made it a little bit unrecognizable from its former form. Some types of meteorites are especially vulnerable. Carbonaceous chondrites, like the Aguas Zarcas meteorite that fell in Costa Rica, are packed with fragile minerals and water-bearing compounds. When pieces of Aguas Zarcas set out in tropical rain, many literally dissolved within days, turning to mud. That's how fast the Earth's environment can erase a meteorite's story if it isn't recovered quickly. Iron meteorites face a little bit of a different battle. While they're more sturdy and can remain on Earth for thousands of years, even the hardest space metal can end up looking like a corroded hunk of rust if left on the ground long enough in the wrong conditions. Here's a piece of the Altai meteorite that rusted quite heavily compared to another that was recovered and treated for rust prevention. How quickly and severely a meteorite weathers depends on the composition of the meteorite and where it falls. One reason so many recovered meteorites come from the desert is that there simply isn't as much moisture affecting the stone and turning it into eventual dust. The irony of all this is that these rocks and metals survived cosmic collisions, radiation, and a fiery plunge through the atmosphere. Yet it's the gentle, patient work of rain, soil, and microbes that eventually breaks them all down. That's why fresh falls are so treasured. They let us study the universe before our own planet's weather rewrites the evidence. Want to learn more about space rocks? Make sure to give me a follow and share with a friend.